I'm Mike Bills with Measurable Solutions, and this is Whiteboard Wednesday. So today, we're gonna to be talking about the ever famous topic of bonuses for staff, right? That is probably one of the top five most popular questions that private practice owners have. They're always hearing it from their staff. Hey, my friend over at blah, blah, blah place gets a bonus, et cetera, et cetera, right? Well, you gotta decide if that's really real for you, and, and you gotta decide, is it the right time for you? Is it the right thing for you to do? Is that the right staff member for you to do it with, et cetera? Yes, I believe that staff should be bonused, but I think you really have to look at, this is my viewpoint, you really have to look at what is going on that's causing that staff member to get bonused, right? You have an expectation. You need them to do a certain level of work. You need them to produce at a certain level. And when they do, and they exceed that, now we're getting into bonus territory. So you really gotta know what it is that you want from your staff members. You've gotta have those expectations set. You gotta know from day one that you hire them, this is, the, this is what I'm paying you for. And you really need to have a communication with your staff when you hire them, and ongoing over the course of time, this is what I'm paying you for. I am paying you to do X. So let's just use a therapist as an example. I'm paying you to see 60 visits a week. If you see less than that, now we're not even really in good exchange at that point. You're actually, I'm paying you, the therapist, I'm paying you more than what I'm actually getting from you. So for me to start to have a, a conversation or a thought process about bonuses at that point is way out of whack. A front desk person, I've got you up there, I'm expecting no more than one cancellation a day and I'm expecting that everybody else shows up. And if I'm getting less than that, it's not really time for this question to pop into my head. But if the question's popping into your head, here's some quick action steps, right? Number one, you have to know what's expected of the staff and your staff have to know what your expectations of them are so that when they know they're expected to see 60 visits a day or a week and they're less than that, well, now they aren't gonna come to you and bring up the bonus conversation because they know they're not really in even exchange at that point. The second thing you need to be able to do is you've gotta be able to track their progress. You've gotta have a way to know on a daily, a weekly, a quarterly basis, whatever it is that you're thinking about bonusing them on, are they actually really exceeding that? Because I'll tell you, staff are really good at looking busy, but the actual thing that they're busy doing is not the thing that you should be bonusing them for. So you gotta have a way to track it and make sure it's a real good measurable thing that you can track. For a PT, it's easy. It's how many visits did you see today? How many visits did you see all week, every month, all quarter, whatever it is that you're thinking about bonusing them on. The same would be true for a front desk. It's not how many phone calls they made, it's how many people were supposed to show up and how many people did show up. That's trackable. And then you've got to make sure that whatever you're doing is fair and it's got to be fair for you and it's got to be fair for them. Don't go offering to give them you know, a $50 bonus because they saw 60 people. That's what you were paying them for. That's not fair. Don't go offering to give them a $50 bonus for every visit over 60. It may not be fair for you if your reimbursement rates aren't there. So quickly, Let's just review. You gotta know what's expected. Make sure that both of you know what's expected, that you've got it in writing, that they've got it in writing, you know what's expected. Have a way to track it. That's you know stats, metrics, whatever word you wanna put on that. Have a way to graph that. If you're a baseball player, you know what your batting average is. A staff member needs to know what their batting average is. And then make sure that it's fair for everybody. You know, baseball, they don't go giving out bonuses for somebody that's hitting 133, but yet he goes up to the plate five times in a game. That's not what you're getting bonus for. You're getting bonus because it's fair and the production is contributing back. So take a second, really look through this and really ask yourself, why am I giving people bonuses? Because it really comes down to that target, that tracking, that number that you're watching. Watch that, monitor it for a while, then you can start to give, think about giving bonuses. So hopefully this is helpful and I hope to see you for next week's Whiteboard Wednesday. Have a great day.